Hey, I'm Dan, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Caldera version 15 on the newest Mac OS operating system. The first step in installation will be to create a Workspace account for Caldera at workspace.caldera.com. After you register for a new account and verify it, you will want to log in and you will be presented with this homepage. Now you'll want to scroll down on the right here to Caldera Doc, and you're going to want to download either for Mac or for Windows. For this version, we're going to do the Mac installation. After you've installed Caldera Doc, you'll want to open it and you will be presented with this screen. You're going to go over to Resources, and you will have two options to download the newest version of Caldera RIP. The first one is V15 Full, which includes all drivers and profiles, and the other option is version 15 Lite, which will be a smaller download, but you will have to download and install the profiles and drivers separately. For this one, we're going to do the full version. Once Caldera has been downloaded, you're going to run the install file. Once the disk image has been unpacked and analyzed, you're going to run the Caldera installer. Go ahead and hit OK to any warnings from Caldera or the network or your operating system. You may get prompted to log out and log back in while Caldera installs the X11 Windows operating system. So you will also want to do that and follow the prompts. When you log back in, go ahead and rerun the installer and you'll be prompted with the language selection screen. Select your language, select next, and then you will be offered the option to do a simple or advanced installation. Only do the advanced installation if you know precisely why you would need to do this. In most cases, a simple installation will work just fine. Next, you are going to select the printers you want to install. For this one, we'll do an Epson S60L. And then we will also install an HP L365. Proceed, and you can now install any cutters you want. We will install a Graphtech FC9000. Go ahead and add that, and then select the next. Your next screen will be the installation summary and you'll want to verify that you have all of your printers and cutters selected that you want installed and then go ahead and hit the thumbs up and select yes to proceed. Go ahead and hit continue. It may take a few minutes to install the software so go ahead and grab a coffee or some water. When the installation is complete you will get a message telling you that the installation has been completed and when you hit OK it will ask you to grant full disk access on Mac OS. This is new on recent versions of OS X and this is a security feature so we'll have to enable some of these modules for full disk access. To do this you're going to go to your system preferences and then go to privacy and security. Scroll down to full disk access, unlock it. Now you will need to make sure that three modules, CaleBridge, Kale Server, and Kale Spooler are added to the full disk access. To do that, you're going to press the plus button at the bottom here, and you're going to navigate to the opt Caldera bin folder, and you can do that by selecting or by pressing open apple shift G and typing in that file path. Once you're on the file path, you will want to select the Kale Bridge, Kale Server, and Kale Spooler options and hit open. You will also need to add the actual application of the Caldera RIP. So once again, you will hit the plus button press command shift G and type in applications Caldera RIP and open. After this has been completed you'll want to save the changes and then I typically restart the computer after this. Once that is done you should be ready to license your install and begin printing. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Give us a call or email us at techs at IT Supplies. We'd love to help you. 
As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or share it with your friends. Thanks and we will see you next time.